Good morning everyone, thanks for tuning back into my channel and um, lovely to see you here. from Tokyo, um, back from the marathon, no longer marathon training, back to normal London life. So I figured that I would just show you what that entails. Um, so I'm going to do a day in the life today and show you what my job is and, you know, everything that I get up to in a kind of average day, which doesn't exist, but I'm going to take you around anyway. This morning I'm headed to an event with Mio Skincare. Um, I did their January campaign um, a couple of months ago that was all about not just creating New Year's resolutions, it was about um, you know having fitness and health all year round and doing things for yourself sort of every single day but for the year not just for New Year's. Um, so that was an awesome campaign that I just did and then I only heard about this event last night um, and I only got confirmed for it at literally 10 p.m. last night, by which point I was already asleep. Let's just bear this in mind. Um, so <laughs> we're going out into the middle of nowhere. Um, I think it's like northeast London or something. I live in West, so I'm just on my way there now. It's about 7:40-ish. Um, um, but the event sounds super exciting. It is something to do with pottery, clay making, something. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take you because, in all honesty. I just don't even know, but that's going to be very exciting. That's going to be most of my morning. I have to leave that slightly early to be able to head to another meeting with a, another brand, um, which is a really, really exciting one. I don't know if I can tell you about it yet, but um, basically it involves running and beauty. So two of my favorite things. So I'm very, very happy about that. And then, um, and then back home to do some of my actual own work. I am just at the Mayo Skincare event and we've just been introduced to all the new products which is super exciting and more on that on my Instagram later um, but we are about to sit down and make um, clay pots I think let me show you what we're gonna do okay so we have this and I have no idea what we're doing so far so um, bring it on I'm just walking <coughs> back from my meeting um, at my agency. Um, it was such a good meeting actually. I much prefer knowing the brands that I'm working with, actually speaking to them about the products I'm going to be promoting, trying out the products and, and kind of making sure they're all on the same page when I work with people. And I think in the past um, I've done collaborations where they'll just like send me something and be like, can you promote this? And sometimes I'll say, you know, sometimes I would have said yes, sometimes I would have said no, but there's not any kind of relationship between, um, you know, being a blogger and working with a particular brand. And now I feel like all the people that I work with, I've met them all. Like I know the brand inside out. I know the values that they have and I know that they align with my own values. So I think that was a really positive meeting. And now I'm just walking back into the house. Um, I'm gonna do some of my own work. I've been trying not to check my emails because they've been like, I, I checked them once and I was like, hey, oh, I need to go back home. Um, I've got so much stuff to reply to. Um, so I'm gonna get on my own work for the next couple of hours, three hours or so. And then I am headed to a boxing. Um, thankfully, oh, sorry, I've got stuff in my eye. Thankfully, I my knees are feeling um, so much better since the marathon and um, I think I'm ready to get back to most sort of uh, sports now. And with the help of my physio, we'll be back to running in no time at all as well. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of the kind of thing that I'm doing at the moment. Oh my God, that is bright. Okay, sorry, give me a sec. <laughs> um, 
Basically, I obviously um, am a social media consultant, but at the moment I am doing a bit of sustainability consulting as well, which is amazing because it's marrying together what I did at uni, which was biology and a lot of sustainability, um, uh, yeah, environmental biology, um, and my social media stuff. So basically it's kind of in the world of science communication. Um, we obviously all have read a lot of really in-depth science or you know stuff in the newspaper that's like, I don't really understand what they're trying to say and my job is basically to make that clearer to the consumer and to make it um, much easier to read. So um, in terms of science comms what I'm doing is I'm creating stuff for social media that is basically a paper or a couple of scientific papers put into a quote that is in English and easy to understand. So that's what I've been doing for the last couple of hours. Um, and now I'm just about to head out to boxing, uh, my first boxing session since before the marathon. So I'm very excited to do that. Super ready to get my box on for the first time since a little bit before um, doing the marathon. Rick is in the background, say hi Rick. <laughs> you can just about see him. Um, yeah, haven't done any boxing, haven't done any real exercise other than one upper body session. So, um, bring it. I'm very excited. Good. Oh my god, I'm so hot. It's so frustrating because obviously I'm like fit at the moment, but I'm not boxing fit. Boxing fit is like a totally different ball game. So it's kind of annoying to not be able to go in with as much force and power as I would like to, but it felt so good. I can totally see why people who aren't fit really hate exercise um, sometimes because like at the beginning I was like, this doesn't feel good. Whereas usually when I work out, I mean, it just feels really good because you get the heart pumping, the blood flowing, it's what I'm used to. Whereas when I'm feeling a little bit like tired or run down or unfit, it feels like I'm actually dying. <laughs> um, so that's how I felt at the beginning of that session, but feeling much better now. And now I'm going to go and do my physio exercises, like a good physio um, person, rehab person. I've just got back from boxing and realised that I'm already running late for an event. Um, so I'm like trying to shove food in my mouth at the same time as changing because um, I'm still wearing my boxing gear down there. Um, but yeah, off to an event tonight. That should be super interesting. It's about like um, getting over mental blocks and fears about doing stuff, which I definitely need because I have all sorts of mental blocks. Um, I will take my camera, but I'm not sure how much filming I'm going to be able to do in there because it's like a panel discussion. Um, but I will let you know what we talk about. This is my outfit of the night. I've kind of forgotten how to dress like a normal human, but hopefully this doesn't look too bad. Let's go. Okay, so that was a really interesting event. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect because I'm not a massive fan of, you know, well, I like spirituality and stuff, but I'm not a massive fan of wishy-washy whatnots. Um, but it was very interesting and I think a lot of really useful information in there. Um, the main thing was just about being your truest, most authentic self um, and 
what that means for everyone and how they can kind of reach that um, and I think that can be useful for literally everyone um, because when we're not being authentic we do a lot of crappy stuff um, and I, my main question was how do I keep trying to please other people literally I mean like my job is providing content that is useful for other people um, whilst also not caring what they think and um, Jodie Shield who was there on the panel had a really great uh, answer which was as long as you know that you're putting out the best content and that you are doing something that is true to who you really are then it doesn't really matter what other people are asking for so no offense guys <laughs> it doesn't really matter what you're asking for I will continue to put out the content that I enjoy putting out and I will continue to do things in life that I think are best for myself and that sounds like being really selfish and being really dickish but I think actually there's no other way to be authentic and um, you really uh, I don't know, I don't know if that makes any sense, um, kind of just rambling, but yeah, it was a really thought provoking session and I think I will have to do a little bit more thinking to make that a bit more coherent in my head. But either way, worth going to, I think. It is now about nine o'clock, I'm just headed home, so I've been out since well, like 7.30 this morning, um, other than my couple of hours at home this afternoon. So I think it is time for bed, um, and I'm very excited about it, and need to get home before my hands freeze off. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the vlog and found it useful, um, and not too wishy-washy and spiritual and whatnot. Um, <laughs> if you have any questions, as always, do head over to my Instagram um, or comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. I've got loads of exciting stuff coming up, so I can't wait to share. Bye bye.